And as a young man, he was summoned to the wars Spent his best years with blood on his hands Hey guys, it's Homomoto And I am one happy Homomoto right now just left barely legal bikes in Athens, Alabama. Got my tire put on for me, got my oil change. Uh, price was better than anybody else in the area. And the service was great. I definitely recommend these guys to anybody in this area. Because quite honestly, The other ones just don't hold a candle to them. You got your bigger branded shops that uh, they charge more and I was told that they were quicker but I called around and uh, they were telling me two to three weeks just for an oil change. Hang on, I gotta open this visor. Woo, it's hot. They were telling me two to three weeks just for an oil change. And that's a little bit ridiculous. I can understand it's a busy time of year. Everyone's just starting riding again for the season and everything, but come on, two to three weeks. The only downside I will say about Barely Legal, and it's not really that big of a deal because they are busy, is if you call them, <laughs> don't expect to call back until your bike's ready. But they told me a couple times they were gonna give me a buzz back when they knew something. And I never got a call until the bike was finished. And the reason I even wanted to call me was because I added an oil change to the tire change. But, you know, that's not a big deal. I can understand they're busy. They got me knocked out in three or four days versus three or four weeks I was going to have to wait for any of the competitors. And I want to tell you, it's about half the price. So, I'm very pleased. I definitely recommend them. I didn't get any kind of discount for throwing their name out. I just feel that they deserve a little bit of recognition. Um, another thing. Guys, I want to help these kids at St. Jude Hospital. I've started a, um, a Teespring account for shirts and coffee mugs. And here's the, uh, here's the web address. And the link will be in the description. But here's the web address right here. All the money made from my Teespring account goes directly to St. Jude Children's Hospital. Um, it's Children's Research Hospital. I used to work at the one in Memphis back when I lived in Memphis for a little while. And I want to tell you, there's not a better organization out there. These people love the kids. Kids at St. Jude don't pay a penny um, for the service because they're funded by people like me and you. When I say people like me and you, I've got my store set up. Anything you guys buy from that store goes directly to them. Now, I've got another store. I've got a Cafe Press, which is my store button in my um, description, my main store button. All that money I make. None of that money is donated anywhere except for me. So what I want you guys to do is at least during the duration of this campaign, it's going to be 20 days. I want you guys to always buy my stuff from my Teespring account because all that money goes to St. Jude Hospital. I just It would do me a favor um, just to help these kids and it should make you guys feel good about yourself too. So after the campaign, I will either start the campaign again or I will go back to just use my Cafe Press for a little while because like I said, I make money off the Cafe Press but St. Jude Hospital. You know, those kids get every penny of money that you guys spend on the merch on the on that uh, side. I love these kids. You guys should too. Man, these are leukemia patients, cancer patients. Some of them are AIDS patients. They need our help. Let's do what we can, okay? Oh, man. Um, also, this is kind of funny, but I don't know if you guys saw the video where I was going to spam Walmart and I kind of got mad because the car pulled out in front of me. Yeah, that video is on Moto Madness. The link to that video is on the description too. Um, Bakamoto had told me that he had submitted a video where he got his foot almost run over. And he told me I should too with the particular video that I had. And I'm like, nah, I don't want to do it. But I got to thinking about it. And sure enough, I did. 
and our bo- videos are both on the same episode of Moto Madness. So please check that out and uh, show Baca some love. You know, he's he's got more subs than I do, but I don't know. He's I think he's a little more dependent on YouTube than I am right now, and he could definitely use all the love and support he could get. He's a great kid. I love him and his girlfriend Haley to death. They're great people. They really are. You just couldn't meet better people. Don't really have a whole lot other than that to talk about right now. I do apologize for the uh, gap in having a motive log up, but I'll make up for that. And I also want to apologize for the gap in having a whatever Wednesday, but during that time, my bike was in the shop. I had to wait to order a tire, wait for the tire to come in, wait for it to get put on, and wait for the oil change. And guys, I don't squirrel a whole lot of videos away like a l- bunch of uh, motor vloggers do. I only squirrel away what I have to. And that being said, sometimes it ain't many. I like to keep one or two for a rainy day. And as a matter of fact, the video of my two old motor vlog, that was actually one of the ones I had stored away. I've been meaning to post that one for a while, but I just didn't really feel right about it. But right about the time I needed the video, had some, uh, I don't want to say emotional stuff, but I needed that video to go out. And I'm glad it did. Whew. I know this is probably a, a crap vlog, but I really, really, really wanted to cover the St. Jude Hospital thing. I'll probably touch on it on my next couple videos, not as much as I did today. But the next couple videos will have the um, the link for the St. Jude store. And another thing, on my uh, and my two older motor vlog video, did you guys notice anything different? I changed my intro, my outro, and my logo. And I love it. I absolutely love it. I liked the logo the way it was, but I needed something different. I needed a change. Um, I really love the one I got now. Baca and Haley helped me design that. And I really think they did a good job. Uh, we, The three of us kind of worked on it together. And I really love it. I was going to get my tattoo. My logo is a tattoo. Kind of glad I waited. Because, uh, you know, I've got a new logo. And that being said, I've got more stickers coming with a new logo. I've still got some of the older ones, so if you guys want any of the older ones, you need to let me know, because once they're gone, they're gone. Because I have changed the logo, and I doubt they'll ever become a collector's item or anything, but the old logo is gone. There will be no more stickers of that logo. There will be no more shirts of that logo. It is totally gone. I was going to try to hold on to it for a little bit and use it for odds and ends, but I know that guy. Hey, Zach. Um... I was going to hold on to it for a little bit and use it for odds and ends things, but I decided to go for the gusto, you know, all or nothing. I wanted to change. I wanted something different going on in my life, and that was just the start of it. So, hope you like the new logo. If not, <laughs> too bad. A lot of work went into it. Well, guys, that's all I got on this one. I love y'all, and roll tide. I was a storm, and I passed right over. And I tried to eclipse the sun In the hopes that you love The tumble and spray in your face And the sky broken by you